There we go. Hello and welcome to the channel that wasn't a that wasn't a deliberate yay from the sirenscape. That was a pressing a button and it must be just linked to the same key. Um so apparently every time I unmute myself it's gonna go yay <laughs> Which is not gonna be annoying at all. No. So today we're back with our Prince of the Apocalypse with our rusty daggers and um we're missing a couple of people but um that's okay. Um, we've done people missing before, and that's kind of why we have five people. So we can miss a couple and still play. It's been a while. Hopefully we go really well. So we'll do some introductions, and we can see if we can get out of the tower. <laughs> the pinnacle. Oh, yeah. Um, yep, yep. It's been a while. It's, we've been here for over a month. It should have been maybe a, <laughs> maybe a session and a half. If, but no, we've, we've had... I, I will take a lot of the blame because, yep, my computer and my internet and everything was dying. <laughs> also, we just, gosh dang, we just can't stop role playing. Just, I'm, it's just, just too much. Which I absolutely love the fact that you just can't stop role playing. It, yeah, it it touches me inside, in in a clean way, not not not. Code of conduct. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Um, yep. I'm Marco, or Sky Blue Shinks, and I play Kip the Cobalt Fighter, trying to prove his honor and his worth and learn magic along the way. I'm Kim Ali. I play Robot Ralph the Beard, the barbarian dwarf who is finally clean, finally in finery, and hopefully going to eat a great meal. Uh, I am Will. I play Kadan, the human grave cleric. And, you know, we're in a large place with a lot of nobles. It's time to start networking. <laughs> <laughs> and we're missing, we're missing Ninjavo with Ward, who is the big baby of the group. The tormented, um, the tormented Goliath who speaks to voices and sometimes, scarily, they speak back to him. Um, or so he listens to voices and sometimes they actually are there, I should say. And we have our human, Tiefling, who is also missing, um, who pretty much tells everyone that she's a different person every single time she meets. I think last time she was she said that she was a noble in, in a vain attempt to try to um, seduce the Lord Commander so she can get her own hippogriff. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. I think I think Pepsi Left Beard is still my favorite persona. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I had the money, I would be asking commissions for all of the. I'll be getting commissions for all of them. I just don't have that much money. That that's a lot of personas. Okay. Um, you know, her notebook is full of, like the names and the whole backgrounds. Every single one of them's oh, got geez. a background. Oh Jesus. Yep, that's why the one time she didn't have a notebook. She was stumped. <laughs> <laughs> the only time she was stumped was she didn't have a notebook with her. Um, so we're going to be moving everyone. Oh, what's... Okay. So I'm just going to move everyone onto the screen, but the screen's too far away. There's so many maps in this adventure. So many deaths. So... Don't start. No, wait. Sorry, wait. Ha, 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 no? <laughs> no? So this is to die. Which one so, the that's the one we're going to. The Feather Gale <laughs> Spire. Um, I will say we don't have a death counter on the overlays. That's not been set up. We have that in the single class challenge games. We don't have it here. Um, I thought well, the record. Matters, yeah. Well, it does. I think um, the highest we're up to a 14 for the Bards um, in three sessions. Um, uh, just a quick shout out to Sirenscape. We are doing we use Sirenscape for the um, audio, and um, so if you're hearing background audio, um, we're using it for the introduction with the the goblins theme song at the start because this is the goblin cave. Um, but you, if you're hearing audio in the background, um, that's from S Sirenscape. If you want, if you're using, so if you're doing on or offline role playing, it's an amazing just to have Sirenscape there to give you that background noise or to set the mood. And here we're setting the mood with a little bit of a little bit of wind and ominous music. Actually we don't need ominous music 
music because um, it's not ominous. We're at a ball. It's yeah. not ominous. Yeah. It's not ominous. Well, we're not a ball. We're at a feast. That's just before the Red Death arrives. No. Not ominous at all. No. So we're at a feast. We're at the Feathergale Spire. Um, so is working on trying to flirt with and um, seduce the Lord Commander. Um, and everyone's dressed up in their finery, including Kip, has a nice fine jacket and pants. Um, the if I think you had to cut a hole for the tail. Yes. Um, but it's in a nice yeah. I think it was um, yeah. Um, Robold is in his dress uniform for an unknown militia or unknown soldiery style uniform with the actual. Um, logos removed. Did did you keep any ranks on them, or just the actual logo? I think I kept a rank on them. <laughs> and what rank was that? So I you wouldn't ask. I don't know. Well, what rank? Uh, what, yeah. What's medium high? <laughs> <laughs> no. Colonel. That's a bit high. Colonel Beardy. Okay. <laughs> And and Kadan's in his finest. He's always. Robes. I chose the best one, the one that I haven't worn since like four days ago. Okay. <laughs> That's still pressed from town. Oh yeah. But you got pressed. soap. You got soap, so you can just clean up yes. whatever. I don't have. I don't have any. I don't have any. Um. I don't have any starch. I can't. I can't press it. So. <laughs> just said ward line it. It's nice and big. Press it. <laughs> So it was kind of get a bit whiffy, but it'll work. So you picked up alchemy. You need herbly, herbalism for the for the starch. Uh, I'll find it one day. We'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> yep. Um, so the fest, the, the night goes on. The food is great. Um, I won't even go into too much. Um, but you are asked to regale them with stories of your adventures um, from the area of what you've been up to. Um and what would you like to pass on? What have you been up to? Oh, we'll talk about the necromancer. I suppose that would be the big one. Yeah, yeah. We 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 had a lot of a lot of dealings with undead. Um, surprisingly, there was like this weird grave that we found by a tree. That kind of we thought it was a curse, but it actually sort of <laughs> gave us some like protection. But it was still incredibly ominous. Then we gave went to you protection. Oh yeah, because you. You, we, we all thought you got off, but in fact you were yeah. in the, the, you were unlucky because you you missed out. Uh, then there was a crypt we went to, and there was like a poltergeist or something along those lines, like a spectre and a floating sword, which I absolutely destroyed. <laughs> and um, <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of undead. And then we went to this cave, and there were just that was actually rather terrifying there were hordes of zombies and skeletons and a necromancer that had clearly had sort of animated them which we nearly died taking him out that was that was terrifying but yeah that's kind of a few of the things we've been doing um you're no. welcome <laughs> <laughs> well he the the commander and the other knights actually are quite regaled at what there's any stories that you'll tell them Anything at all, um, including the mention of a necromancer there, like on bated breath, um, and a flying sword that you jeweled. Um, they're quite curious on that. And they'll fly. I, go into, I go into great detail about how <laughs> this incredibly powerful magic missile spell was hurled at me, and yet I survived with a tiny amount of my life remaining to keep going and then fell at the head. You know, it's, it's yada yada. I'm embellishing it a lot. Yep. Yeah. That was that was the next question. Was how much are you embellishing? How much are you lying? I'm being truthful, but I'm sort of I'm exaggerating the truth. So it's kind of like instead of just sort of instead of like I'm not I'm not lying to them, but I'm not I'm like I'm being a storyteller rather than you know just uh just doling out facts. Yeah. Um, do you have? Do you want to try to do a performance with your storytelling, or? I could try, I suppose. So I know you do have yeah, some performance. Um, 
And I'll give you an advantage because um, So will actually help you embellish facts where she thinks it needs more embellishment because okay, she's yeah, a yeah, consummate fair. liar. I imagine So is just like the hype man. She's like, oh, really? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> and, Here we go. And when when you talk about the necromancer, oh, it's not bad. The, the, the candles flicker in the room as she, <laughs> as she uses a thermotogy and... Yeah, sixteens are good. You, you, you pretty much have them all night telling stories, and and they are asking questions. They are, I was like, real, and then decamans, and I like, were well, they skeletons or were they? And like, they will just keep on everything, and they really want all the information. And about the tree was like a weird thing. It's like, uh, yeah, they just keep on asking, going back to the tree, and what do you think it means? And um, do you know what the like the name was or uh, what that meant? Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll um. Thanks for the hint, GM. Um, uh, the, where is it? It's written down here somewhere. Uh, I'll, I shall go through my. Oh, sorry, something's just. Uh, Someone rolled some. Yeah, let's 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 reset that a little bit. I tried typing in and it ended up being hotkeys all the time, so I just need to load that up again. Let's see if I put it, write it down on my on my sh character sheet. No. Oh, that's true. I haven't. I haven't got to read it down. Um, it's not in the notes. If it, I, I th I'm pretty sure I did write it down, but yeah, it must have gone. So you're talking about the name of the? They don't recognize the name if that's what you're asking. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to find the note. It was like you're something to. Uh, oh, the note. Yes. Uh, yeah, the I note that was actually, on the. I think it's actually a note. Note. Like in the player handout, yeah. Oh, it's in the handouts. You yeah. probably will find it in the handouts. Yep. No, alas, a last laugh. You'll be next, Falklandar. Yes. There you go. Yep. That was it. Yep. Um. So they they're puzzled with that as well. They they're curious, and they're asking each other like, "Do you know that name? Do you know that name?" And they're going through their minds, and no one can figure it out. No one can help you with that, unfortunately. Um. But um, they're, they're, they're interested. Um, they also asked um, um, about your uniform, Robold, that it's, it's definitely a soldier, but they can't quite pick where it's from. Oh, it's from a country far, far from here. <laughs> I don't even know if the militia still exists, frankly. A long time ago. I mean, I'm older than I look. Well, they'll keep Inside. pressing. <laughs> insight for you guys and uh was that the uh a lying check and a seat please uh, uh this whole time i've been kind of like so the nights i've been working uh since i can't work on my soap uh, i've been writing i've been writing a uh, little tiny like business cards made from parchment so one oh, are you handing out the cards <laughs> I'm handing out the cards. When, when he's telling the story, I'm just handing out like little tiny pieces of parchment I ripped up and like made to like little tiny cards. I'm like silver daggers, find us in red lunch, silver daggers, find us in red lunch. Silver daggers, find us in red lunch. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh wow, the oh, business has started. <laughs> Commercialization. Ah. Yep. Um so with the insight, you think that there's something fishy about the story. But you not. But you don't know. Yeah. yeah. Clearly, 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 skirting the skirting details. Yeah. Sk but skirting I'll, the truth. And I'm such an honest being. In detail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Um. There is go. there alcohol at this feast? There is alcohol. It is <laughs> fine wine. There is fine food. We're talking boars. The whole works, as in. The highest quality Thank noble you, food. I have a very small body, so I probably get quite drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that is easily done, and it's and very. You know what, Soda? I'm gonna try and play. Pl I'm gonna jump on the table and play some loot. <laughs> oh wow! Um, no, that should take the tension away from me. <laughs> yep. Um, do do your performance again with I was going to say again with advantage. Oh, with advantage. Well, I've got the loot check, which is yep. uh, instrument proficiency. So yep. I'll roll. I'll roll so do it again. again. Yep. 
um, because you've also got a bard there that's willing to help oh. you out. As Meredith, oh as you jump on the table, um, she pauses and then you pull out your lute and start playing. She then tries to match you and tries to work with your inebriated play. Mm. Um, it's not my best performance, but... And is it highbrow yeah. <laughs> or lowbrow? Oh, it's definitely highbrow. Okay. Like, I, I can read the room. We're all having a good time. I'll try and play something a bit more upbeat. Okay. Because she's been playing highbrow pretty much all night. And she's oh, been doing... highbrow is in like the... the con... No, I don't, I don't sing. It's just it's just me. Yeah. I... yeah. yeah. No, no. Highbrow is in um, the room is full of nobles. Or lowbrow, yeah. tavern, seedy, um, debaucherous singing. Yeah, it's, there's, no, there's no, there's no singing. It's just, it's just playing, but it's a very yeah. upbeat song. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she'll join you in, and she'll, um, and a fourteen's pretty good. And if the moods are actually really nice. It's really fun, and it's, and it's enjoyable. And Kadan's handing out business cards. Red light. Oh yeah, everybody. Like I'm handing it out, and like when I see, uh, when I see Kip and them like playing and everything, it's like, you, you know, we could do any kind of job. You, you need, you need entertainers. We got those too, and they just, just keep handing it out to everybody. Yeah, we got it. We got to diversify. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do market penetration, guys. We gotta get and, into more markets. And, and so goes, and so goes the commander. Yeah, we can, we, we can do anything for you, anything at all. <laughs> Um, in in her, um, <laughs> yeah, in her little uh, way. Yes, I'm trying to chat the, with with the other nobles and trying to find out, you know, if, if they're lesser sons or they are higher up in the family businesses, or why they're here. If I can yeah. get the um, investigation role, like in inside his investigation or. Which one would be? I prefer insight. Insight, yeah, because you are trying to glean information from them. Oh, oh. Wah, wah, wah. I know nothing. <laughs> yep. Um, like wow, this yeah. is good mead. <laughs> they they refuse to talk about their past. That they are own. They are Feathergale knights now. They're no longer what they were. They're not their family's name anymore. And that's that's the hard line that they give you. With, oh, with a, with a one, <laughs> with, with a one check, that's the hard line they give you. Yeah. yeah um, yeah. sorry, I know that wasn't on screen. I'm trying to figure something out on screen, but yes, that's pretty bad. Oh, more unfortunate than anything else. My rolls are back. <laughs> hey, you have banned me from going the wah, wah, wah. Yeah. 